Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches Middle School Math Survival Guide. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Hi fellow mathematicians, welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. Today we're working on how we're going to divide fractions. But first, let's take a look at this here. It says understand, formulate, and solve. Understanding is looking at the word problem and trying to pull out the key pieces of information. Let's read this first. Mrs. Perez has a roll containing 24 and 2 thirds feet of Halloween wrapping paper. She wants to divide it into 11 equal pieces. However, Mrs. Perez's dog chewed on the first 5 6 foot. Therefore, she has to cut it off. How long will each piece of Halloween wrapping paper be? This is going to be multi-step. And how do I know that? It's because first we have, this is her roll. It contains 24 and 2 thirds feet of paper, but she's going to cut off this here, 5 6 feet. Now, that's where we're going to start from, but also we have to have it into 11 equal pieces. So let's take a look. This is how I would set it up first. I would have to have it to where I'm looking at 24 and 2 thirds minus 5 6. But wait, we have fractions here. There we go. And they have different denominators. So we have to have a common denominator. Well, the common denominator between the two is 6. But even if we went in and, and multiply the top and bottom by 2, we'd have 4 and 6, but we need more 6. What do we need to do? Well, we can borrow 6, 6 from the 1's column here and make that 23. There we go. So now I have 23 and 10, 6 minus 5, 6. So I can subtract 5, 6 from 10, 6, and that's going to give me 23 and 5, 6. So that's our total feet of the paper that Mrs. Perez has. What's our next step? Well, we have to divide it into 11 equal pieces. Before we divide this into 11 different pieces, I need to take this mixed number and create an improper fraction. So I have 6 times 23. That's what I need to do and then add it to there. 23 times 6. 6 times 3 is 18. 6 times 2 is 12, 13, so 138. And then I need to add that 5, and that's going to give me how many? It's going to be 143. So here, I just put it, made it so it's simpler and easier to read. So I have 143 6 divided by 11. If you remember that whole numbers, it can be shown as a fraction. So it's 11 over 1. That's still 11. But now we have to solve. So we're going to keep that 143. We're going to switch the signs, and then we're going to flip this fraction here. Voila! We have 143 6 times 1 11th. Now we can just multiply across. So 143 times 1 is 143 and it's divided by 6 times 11 which is 66. But wait! Are we done yet? No! We actually have to do some standard division. So I'm going to have 143 divided by 60 6. Now, how can I do that? Understand that 2 times 66, what is that going to be? So 2 times 66, because 14 isn't, isn't divisible by 66. So 2 times 66, that's going to give me 12. 2 times 60, it's going to give me 120 plus 10 more, so that's 130. So 132 is my final answer there. So I can sit here and go 2, 132. I'm going to subtract that, so 3 minus 2 is 1. 14 minus 13 is another one, but wait, I'm not going to have a remainder. I, so I need to put a decimal point here, right here as well. I, I, I like doing that up there. And I'm going to put a zero. I'm going to bring down that zero. So I can't do two again, but I can do one. And that's going to give me 66. So 110 minus 66. So what's, let's look at friendly numbers. So I'm going to look at this and go, well, wait a minute. I have 110 minus 66, I can brought so 10, this is just make that 10, so this is going to be 10 as well, so 10 minus 6 is 4, and then I have another 10 there, so there's 4, I'm going to do another 0, 440, well what can we do that's close to that, I know that 2 is 132, I wonder if 3 times that would be okay, let's just see here, so 3 times more, 2 times 3 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9, so 396, yeah, that works. So it's actually going to be 6 times, so 6, 396, and it's probably going to get, get, keep on going. I'm just going to cut it off there, so 2.16. Now, but what is our answer? We're going to have 2.16 
feet for each piece if it's cut into 11 pieces. You will need to write this out as a complete sentence. This is how I would write it out. The length of each piece of Halloween paper will be 2.16 feet. That's a great way to do it. It's a complete sentence. It's written properly. And that's what your math teacher is probably going to expect to see from you. Until next time, remember, to be a math person, all you have to be is a person that does math. Thank you. Remember to like, share, and subscribe.